Nash. Taken along the wall by Kaprizov. Play is whistled dead as the puck goes up and over. Broussard's looking to win this draw on this man advantage here. Broussard's looking to win this draw on this man advantage here. Draw on this man advantage here. Broussard's looking to win this draw on this man advantage here. 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 Draw on this man advantage we're never gonna finish this game. A little four on four coming up here. Well, four on four is similar to three on three. There's more ice available, and you can't just dump it in. You want to possess the puck and try and create numbers around the ice. That's two on ones all over. Strong use of the body to force the puck loose. Shot denies him in close. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Grabbed along the board by Walker. Picked off by Knox. Poked away in the neutral zone. Finds nothing but air on that shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Still keeps a hold of the puck. Quick shot and the save. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. And the puck clears the zone. That's why you want players with active sticks on your PK, James. They can close quickly and they can corral the puck and just fire it down the ice. Here we go. Odd man rush here. To his teammate. Referee signals penalty coming up. Fuck you, is that? <laughs> taking a ton of penalties. They'll have to reset and refocus if they want to find a way to get on top. Well, listen, a power play, you want to make sure that you're getting a high percentage shooting shot. And that's exactly what they did earlier on the 1-3-1 where they were able to capitalize. It's about opening up lanes, getting the coverage to move around, and then firing and executing when you have it. So Louise taking it from his own end. They get it out of the defensive end. Moves it over to Walker. Well, saw the attack. Big play inside the defensive zone. Edmonton's got a hold of the puck. Gets it out of his own end. Quick pass across to Walker. Two on one, here we go! Oh, tremendous save to shut down the rush there! Wow! Holy shit! <laughs> Fuck, relax, man. <laughs> Bro. What? I got an AG? Why am I in the box? Why am I serving? Which means you also have to be urgent. You want to execute. You want to have patience. Looking for the opportunity. But you can't waste any time. Slides it back to the blue line. They want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. He's got a step. So oh, it just kind of muffles that one. <laughs> well, he muffles it because he's in tight. And when you're in tight, you run out of room and you run out of option as well. You got to find a way to get the puck to the net. No. Looking to make something yeah. happen along the boards. Hammers the shot. Huh? Oh, makes the save. That was a rocket. Edmonton's got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. Yeah. Looking to break out here on the power play. Nice dish from the left wing. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a hit and a little truculence on that play. You're saying truculent, I'm saying truck, James. The physical style that he plays, it wears you down. Wait a second, James. I believe there's going to be a call right there, an infraction. Oh, 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 oh. Walker's going off for interference. Shit, I wasn't paying attention there. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, you feel like this is what scored on you, that guy. Straight back, maybe? But not. here in the offensive zone and the puck skips away after that move and here's the call and that's another penalty for him you can see the frustration by everyone on his team here a coach is not impressed four on three power play but for not much longer with less time on this power play four on three have to find a way to quickly get to the net and crash Edmonton's got the puck shorthanded. The Sars out of the box, but they're still shorthanded as he steps in to help try to kill off this penalty. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Delayed penalty coming up here. Fuck. Six, six, man. We got a penalty except for me. Contest the entry. That's a great play all the way around. Kaprizov's out of the sin bin and joins the penalty kill here. From the point, looks to make something happen. Wilf's got the puck along the boards. And that goes off a stick. St. Louis has been leaving it all on the ice, and that's exactly what you have to do in playoff yeah, hockey. It's a little bit different. It's more physical, and you have to find a way to get in those shot lanes. Let me score first. <clears throat> Yeah, might as well back out there, Nepo. Take the L. You back out there, don't you? Oh. No, no. no if the goalie leaves, uh, the game gets, you know. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> I just want to see my save percentage. Hold up. Take a picture, put it on your uh, Facebook. I'm gonna watch you guys get the garlic by my team. These guys are ready to rock and roll. Fritz, what up, what up? Gotta win these next couple games here and try and get in playoffs. Uh, five points out currently, and with possible 12 points. So it's possible that we need some fucking luck on our end. Couple big games tonight. Good.
the gauntlet was thrown down and it's been accepted here we go eashl club action here on ea sports We are just seconds away now from puck drop. And this one is officially underway with the puck drop. Broken up in the neutral zone by Ryan. The Oilers gain possession along the wall. From center, they get into the attacking area. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Pucks to the paint. Good stop by Perry. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Right there, bro. Lots of time left in this uh, period. No, We've back. still got zeros on the board. And from uh, off the wing, he comes up with it with both centers scrummed up. Can't get a hold of that pass. The Kings will play it in their own end. Sends a pass over. And he takes the pass. Let's it go. Scores. And there it is, his first with his new club. Well, and how important is that goal for him and his confidence? You really want to contribute right away. You want to send a message that you came ready to play. You're urgent and you're assertive. He does just that. Guys, this is actually his first goal with this club, and you know his teammates are going to be just as stoked as he is on this one. Lots more to see from this player right here. Pumps the puck away. And he makes the save. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Perry's got that workhorse zone ability, guys, which means if he faces a lot of shots in a game, he can turn up his compete level to come up with the stops. Puck has dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Teal's been feeling it, James. He got the go-ahead goal, and now the puck's on his stick. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. one nothing. the score. Hey, All right, Ken. And off the draw, they win possession. Feeds the puck across to Knox. Moves it to Broussard. Fires it! Blocked in traffic. Smart defensive play to tap it away. Los Angeles has the puck. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. The Oilers gain control of the puck. And he takes the feed. Los Angeles plays it along the wing. Here's a shot. Because there, what the hell? What a hip check of the old school variety. Beautiful. Quick pass to Broussard. And he's tripped yeah. up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. Let's see what <laughs> Left wing is still offside there. Hurts. That guy was holding me back. <laughs> man. Greasy. And they get that puck down the ice. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. Here's a short pass to Broussard. Oh, oh and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. Picked up along the wall by St. Louis. Quick feed to Tutu. Here's a centering pass. And that's stopped. Los Angeles looks to break out of their own end. No time for another rescue, boy. Edmonton's game possession along the boards. Handles the pass at center. Yeah. Takes the puck at the point. Both sides are evened up now as the power play expires. The next shift is critical, James. They had the opportunity on the power play to get back in it and get the equalizer. Now they're down by one, so they have to manage some energy here, and they have to dictate pace and get back in the game. Slides it to Sigamanis. Look at this, two on one. Off the rush, and they put it home. Agreed, Agreed. 
Los Angeles makes it a two-goal game here in the first. They are flying out there tonight. Yeah, and every time their opponent looks up, they're yeah, screwed up. Their pressure has been relentless, and they have been rewarded for their efforts with that two-goal cushion. Intercepts the pass at center. Los Angeles has been in great position all night long. They've got their legs under them as well. They're working hard. Their coach will be impressed. He'll keep it alive and moves it ahead. The Kings have it against the wall. Oh, we got a little sliver of it, and it stays out. <laughs> it settled down. <laughs> stronger and a blistering shot you know that it's going to crack or spider the glass but nowadays you can just replace the pain so we'll have to wait for the maintenance crew to make sure that they take care of it great read on the block the king's game control the puck against the wall takes the feed and he shuts the door on that oh and he delivers a thunderous hit check puck picked up by Broussard Moves it to the offensive zone. The Oilers go to work on offense. Makes the easy save with the glove. Oh, fuck. That's <laughs> rolling around there, dude. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Edmonton's got it along the wall. Here's a shot from a bad angle. Turn that chance aside. The goaltender gets the better of him this time, but man, does he ever love to attack when he's in the offensive zone. That one-timer that he's known for, he executes typically, and this time it gets turned aside. Okay. There's the whistle as the play was offside. Oh, heat up here. Los Angeles has delivered at both ends of the ice, especially offensively, as they continue to lead late in the first. Okay. Oh, and he takes possession of the puck from off the wing with the centers all locked up there off the draw. That'll do it for period number one. We'll drop the puck on the second period in just moments. You beat these guys, no problem. So, figure it up. Figure it up. second here boys let's go well let's see what period two has in store for us as they are about to drop the puck second frame is underway as the puck is dropped well we've seen a pretty good sample size already played thus far cheryl your assessment harry's been the only reason that this game is close james i mean they have been under siege there's been shots coming from everywhere and the defense in front of him aren't doing anything to clear rebounds they need to shore this up if they want to get back in this game he's the reason it's so close and he takes the dish shot handles that one with possession along the wall. Back at the point, they set it up. That goes off a twig. Here's a shot. Great stop by Perry. They're like a swarm of bees out here with this pressure. And it's picked up by the D. Sends the pass over. Los Angeles has it in the defensive end. Freeze it. Yes. Scooped up along the wall by St. Louis. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. Loves the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. Taken along the wall by Ryan. And he's knocked off the puck there. Two point blank! Denies him! Harry's been outstanding, tracking pucks and making huge saves like that one right there, right from the slot. 
And that pass attempt is deflected. Play rolls on. Oh, look at this. Here they come. They've got numbers. A game of inches, and he puts it off the outside of the post. Los Angeles hits the post and won't extend their lead, but I really like their game, James, tonight. They've been aggressive. They've attacked the net. They funneled pucks towards it, and it's the reason why they've got that lead. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Zero fear on this guy's part as he blocks it. He tips it, taken by Knox. Look out, here they come on the attack. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Shesterkin. What a fantastic save from a high-danger scoring area, James. And, I mean, he's bailing his team out. They have to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Oh, and it stays out as he gets a piece of that one. Oh, they do it again. Here we go. Look at this. They are really applying the squeeze down on the offensive end. They've got the puck in the corner. Scooped up by the D. And they'll skate it out of the zone. Play blown dead. Let's get the call. Get that pressure up. Knox is called for tripping. He's off to the box. As they step into the face-off circle, let's see if they can take advantage on this power play. First opportunity on the power play in this game. And specialty teams are the difference so many times in a game. Huge for them to set the tone and really get the setup and the looks they're looking for. Can't connect. Grabbed along the boards by St. Louis. Great defensive effort with the stick. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. Moves it quickly over to Broussard. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Broken up at center by St. Louis. Puck is cleared out of the defensive zone. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. Ryan's got it against the boards. Oh, you'll win respect for your teammates doing that. What a block. Knox's penalty is almost expired. And manages to clear the zone. Pass across to Ryan. Moves it to Sigamanis. Some oh. solid defensive work in their own end with the poke check. Didn't mean to step on you like that, James, but look at that hit and it just took me off guard. Feeds it to Ryan. Just a great defensive read there. Here's a chance to clear the puck from his own end. And they'll keep on playing as icing is waved off. And that pass goes off a stick. Rocks him on the play. Edmonton's got the puck. Slides it over with pace to Broussard. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Quick pass to Knox. Comes up with a monster save in front. Zygamanis compete level is off the charts. I mean, he stumbles and he's off balance, but finds a way to hold on to the puck and thread the needle as he sees the shooter in a distance and a great scoring opportunity. And that brings the period to an end. All right, third period just around the corner. We'll get a clean sheet of ice. I'm going to get more popcorn, and we're coming back with much more next. And we are just moments away from the start of the third period. Back. And this one's underway here in the third. Cheryl, 40 minutes in the books now played. How do you view this one? Edmonton's got to have a fresh start in this third period, James. They haven't been urgent, and they've been chasing the entire game. And I could tell that right from puck drop in the first period. They weren't urgent off of the faceoff. They weren't where they needed to be. And it's looked like that all game long. They need to change it now if they want to get back in this one. And that's broken up. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. 
still plenty uh, of time left in this frame. Los Angeles back. leads it 2 0. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. The Oilers have it now. That knocks him off the puck. Can't complete the pass as it goes off a stick. All alone on the breakaway. Rings the iron. put it home. James, no, no, this is not going to count. Wait a second here. The official waves it off right away. I think there's a kicking motion here, and this could be confirmed by a review. They're going to go upstairs. Los Angeles has put a lot of pucks on net, and they've been rewarded for it, leading big time in the third. Edmonton's won the draw in the neutral zone. Yeah. Grabs the puck at center. Go, go, go! Cuts go. to the front. Edmonton's going to play the puck from behind the cage. Yeah. Good defense yeah. and effort to poke it away. Oh, we got a piece of it to keep it out. The Kings have certainly subscribed to the quantity theory offensively tonight. They lead it and have been busier in the offensive zone. Los Angeles takes possession off the faceoff. Shot! Oh, that's got to hurt. What a play. Los Angeles looks to attack. Might be too late, but I'll take it. Should have took it after the last one. And that's four in a row, and they are rolling tonight. Well, the whole bench is rolling. Why? Because they're all getting goals and apples. Patting the stats tonight. You can feel the energy as they're all standing up. They've gotten four in a row. Uh, okay, one right here. Back. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. <laughs> Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. Edmonton's got the puck against the half wall. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Way too much congestion blocks that. And he slides it quickly to Ryan. Tries to dangle and the puck skips away. Sometimes when you lose the puck, the product of trying to do too much, sometimes keeping it simple is more effective. The Kings gain possession in their own end. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. Gains the zone through center. Another one. And listen to these fans now, Cheryl. They don't like it one bit. Oh, they don't like it, James. It is ugly inside the building. It couldn't get anything going on the ice. And even harder when your own fans are booing. That's great puck movement, James. Working hard away from the puck to support the puck carrier. And they gain that entry because they've got numerical advantage. And they capitalize and executed with... Los Angeles continues to apply pressure here in the third. They have really looked complete tonight. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Locks him. Slick feed. Moves it to the middle. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Los Angeles gets a shot. here icing waved off on the play Sigamanis takes it into the offensive end shot attempt completely fails on that slides it across to Kaprizov here's a short pass to Knox great use of the twig as he pokes that one away all alone and that's broken up oh James he thought he had that one he used his speed to get that breakaway like holy fuck dude man Guys, just grabbing it, dude. You're down by a bunch of goals and you take a penalty. Really, it's inconsequential Back. as the game is out of hand. So frustrating. Ryan's looking to complete the hat trick. He's got two in the game. He's looking for his third. 
And great hustle to come up with the puck. Takes it to center. Here's a chance. Big time stop. Harry's got to make more stops like that, James. Got to reset the momentum for his team. I mean, it's not about what happened or the present moment. It's about the next save, and that's the key contributor to reset this team and get them moving forward. Slides it across to Sigamanis. Oh, set that hit up perfectly. And that's put away by St. Louis. Fantastic save! Well, look at this, Cheryl. Here we go. The parade is officially underway. It certainly is. And everyone in the building, you can hear the crowd just jeering with their frustration, including everyone on the bench, completely deflated right now. A non-stop procession to the penalty box for the home team. Kaprizov's penalty has expired, but they remain short-handed, and he joins the kill. Offside the call. We'll get a face-off coming up. Just moments away from the resumption of this power play. They're ready to drop the puck here for this face-off. Los Angeles wins it. Feeds it on over to Ryan. Oh, what a play to hang on! Well, he disrupts the coverage with that move, and now he's got open ice available. And he came up with a solid stop on that play. Love the way the goaltender gets tight to the shooter here. The puck's in the low slot. You want to take away time, you want to take space. Goaltender does it, makes a save. Along the right wall and into the offensive end. Oh, a spectacular save right there. Wow. Unbelievable. I mean, it was all got in, and he steals it because of that last-ditch attempt to find the puck. Just incredible save, James. Let's get the call. I just had a gander at the bench and the energy and the body language. I mean, they're defeated, James, and now they have to kill off another penalty down a bunch of goals. It's a tough one. Less than 60 yeah. seconds to play. Yeah. Scores! And that's three. It's a hat trick here on the road. Well, old hat for him in a way because it's a business-like approach as oh. he's on the road. He just says, yeah, just bring it. I mean, gets a hattie to boot. The Kings probably don't want this game to end the way things have gone here. And I know we're in period number three, but Cheryl, what a night. Yeah, it's been terrific right from Pep Top. And they've been consistent throughout the game. And consistency is always a word that coaches talk about. And if they can finish this off with this nice lead, that's the word the coach is going to be preaching after the game. Team tonight. Broussard's quick stick lands from the puck here at center. And that puck leaves the zone. And the fans clearly not happy what they've seen tonight as the final few seconds tick away. They are letting this team have it. He's one of the best in the game at it. Los Angeles has had more shots on goal tonight, and as a result, they lead it late in the third period. That'll do it, and man, oh man, what a special night. First shutout here with his new teammates, and that's got to feel extra special. Oh, yeah, I mean, any time you get a win, let alone a shutout, you feel good about yourself because you know you contributed. You want to be a key contributor. In particular, when you're starting with a new club, you want to make sure everyone around you feels...
Yeah, like I said. It's alright though, so I'll bounce back.
Huh? No, that's a little. 
Referee in position for this challenge. Let's find out who gets the bragging rights in this one. Great energy both inside and outside the arena tonight as we are just moments away now from puck drop. The Sharks get off to a good start as they win the opening faceoff. Looks to get the puck over to Iggy. Picks up the puck. Don't, don't do anything. Make them take a penalty. Like, tag them again. Dead penalty coming up. When you lose position on your opponent and you're fighting for that puck, instead of coming under, under the stick for the takeaway and you go over and you hack, you're going to get the call. Slashing it is. Edmonton sending their power play unit out for the first time tonight. An opportunity here to go up by one on the power play. You know they've worked on this in practice. It's something you do, your repetitions. This is what prepares you to be big in these moments. Quick feed to Frank. Handles the pass. Hammers him in the open ice. And they send it down the ice. The cliche in hockey is you want to start the game hard and physical and really set the tone, and that's what he was doing right there. And he lays him out with that collision. San Jose's got the puck along the wall. That's some smart heads up defensive play by Kaprizov. And he slides it quickly to Frank. Just misses. Picked up along the boards by Kaprizov. The Oilers' man advantage is over. Body language says it all, James. Have a look at the unit here. Every single one of them deflated. They know that they needed to score. And this is the ex... Hold on a second, James. There's going to be a call on this as you see the official signaling a penalty. Moves it quickly over to Broussard. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. Well, what a tumultuous turn of events here, James. They take the first penalty. They can't settle down, and now multiple calls on the play. Edmonton's got a five-on-three, and the clock's their BFF here. Five-on-three. You know your opponent has big bodies with long sticks in the middle of the ice. You have to find a way to move them. How do you do that? You either shoot the puck or you move it. Here's a shot. Oh, what a save. He gloved that one. Can they capitalize on this power play? Here comes the faceoff. Broussard's won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. From a sharp angle, here's a shot. Dismiss that chance. Well, perfect setup for the one-timer here, but the goaltender makes a perfect read to make the save. And that ricochets off a twig in front. Takes possession. They are really buzzing here in the offensive end. And keeps it out again. Tremendous pressure here in the offensive end. They've got the puck in the corner. Looking for options along the boards. Pressure save right there. And there's the whistle as the goaltender will hang on and give his team a breather. A goaltender, they have to have talent, they have to have mobility, they have to be able to track the puck, but they have to have a willingness to find it. And Yo, that, that goalie's starting to slide, though. He'll catch him, he'll catch him. Be patient, shoot him, but be patient. Face off coming up here. Well, you know that you want to gain possession and you want to keep the pressure on because the goaltender is the only one who can't change, and he is the most fatigued guy on the ice. So you want to find ways to get some net front presence, get shot through the net, because, man, he needs a rest. Can't get it to go. Grabs it in his own end. Handles it along the blue line. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Trying to gain a step. Let it go. Stones him on the breakaway. Harry's last save was so impressive, James. Really a last-ditch effort to find the puck. When you out-battle, when you out-will your opponent, everyone around you gets energized. Just look at the bench. Everyone is elevated because of that save. Pass back to the point. Long jam in front. That's broken up. 
My goodness, the pressure really building here in the offensive end. Oh, what a save in front. And there's the whistle. Cap, where's that one T? Why is that shit not firing? Hey, goalie, you didn't trap him in the uh, net, did you? Because if so, this could end up being a forfeit for us. All right. I mean, there's a solid few seconds that he just sits there and doesn't move, so we should be fine. Past the midway mark in this period. Still no score in this one. Just say he has his tether on. Let's go. Good job. This is a real tough play for a goaltender to get a read on, James. You're in that inner slot area. The puck's on the backhand, fighting for position and getting it off quickly. That's a tough one to read and a reason why it goes to the back of the net. Good read by the winger as the two setters tie up. Broken up with a stick. Hangs on. Oh, what a save! He stopped it! Wow! Oh, that's an intangible effort that you can't teach, James. That's all about desperation and the will to stop that puck. Now a quick pass to Kaprizov. Moves it to the middle. And he opts to backtrack here on the play. Centering feed. Shot! Kaprizov's got control of the puck in the corner. And it's a quick pass to Sillery. And forces a huge turnover here with the steal. The Sharks have been stealing pucks all game. And when you intercept passes and you find ways to get your sticks in lanes, you typically find a way to possess the puck. But they've got to open it up here. This game's awfully tight. Takes the pass. First very nearly in the books here. And he makes the save on that play. And he slides it quickly to Broussard. San Jose's got the puck here in the open ice. Nice poke check. Looks to make a play over to Kaprizov. In all the way on the breakaway. There's the horn for period number one as it comes to an end. We've got lots more action. Two more thirds of this one to go. Stay with us. Both teams back on the ice. They're lined up, and period number two is a running of Here we go. Middle frame now underway as the puck drops. All right, Pounder, how would you assess this game through the first 20 minutes played? Edmonton's playing with an extra. I got two words for you. New game. Yeah, certainly and who's going to come out on top at the beginning of this face-off? You want to be able to get that puck in the offensive zone and find a way to continue to attack. The Sharks have shifted momentum after that equalizer. They seem to be moving a lot better as well as executing with the puck, and that's something that is critical as they move through this game, and it's a reason why they got the equalizer. Right up Main Street and on the attack. Grabs the puck. Huge steal in his own end. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. The Sharks have it from their own end. 
San Jose's got the puck against the boards. What a steal in his own end. Cutting to the front of the net. Edmonton's got a hold of the puck now. Oh, those boards rattled after that hit. Oh. The go-ahead goal puts them in front. Well, now they're in front, James, so they'll have some energy. You know that their first few strides will be more urgent, but they'll have to be accountable on the other side of the puck as well. Edmonton's taken a one-goal lead here in period number two. Yeah, now it's about not sitting back, not saying, hey, we've got a lead, we're going to protect it, but being aggressive and trying to go after more. And sneaks in there on the tie-up and comes up with the puck. Moves it to Iggy. From his own end, he picks up the puck. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. Unable to reach that one. Fuck, that was for a blue. for their high activity in the offensive zone with lots of shots, and they lead it here in the second. Broussard's won the draw, and they're on the attack. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. Here's a shot. And he catches that one with the glove. Nearing the midway mark of the period, Edmonton's got a one-goal lead. Broussard's won the draw, and they'll look to set up. Hammers the shot. Nice save off the tender's pad. You always hear it from the opponent's side. Take away the eyes of the goaltender with the screen, and that's exactly what's happening here. But he finds a way to outbattle the screen in front and find and track the puck. And that's deflected. Edmonton's gained yeah. possession along the boards. Along the half wall with the puck. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. Let's see what the officials say. Such a tough penalty to take when the game's within reach. They're looking for the equalizer, and now they find themselves shorthanded. The Sharks win the defensive zone faceoff. Edmonton's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Moves the puck down low. A little crashing and banging forces the turnover. He says, let's get physical on that play. San Jose stopped the puck shorthanded. And now it's grabbed by St. Louis. Hammers it. Oh, a clutch save. They are really feeling it now here in the Ozone. And finally, they ease the pressure, and they look to go the other way. Turned aside with the glove by Perry. Time of the essence here. Yeah, they can't skate it. They got to move it to be able to gain entry quickly. Long reach breaks up the momentum. And a solid effort by the penalty killers as we are back to even strength. Power plays have the opportunity to really... Oh, well, that's going to be a call, James. That's definitely a penalty. Let's see what the officials are calling. Well, this is a critical juncture of the game. You've got the one goal lead, and now you take a penalty. The PK unit has to be the task and kill this off. Nice job tying up his opponent. Picked up along the wall by Iggy. He carries the puck up along the wing. Great poke check on the reach. Ref's arms in the air. We got a penalty coming up. There's the whistle, and here's the call. They got to put a pin in the penalty balloon here, James. Them frustrating calls, no question about it. But they got to figure out a way to control their emotion and get back in this game. Broussard's won the face off, and now let's see what they can do. Quick feed down low. And makes the save. Scores! And there's the hat trick, and let those shuffles fly. Anytime you get a hat trick, it's a special moment for a player, an athlete here, James. But to do it at home and have all of those caps flying on the ice, it's a pretty special one. Edmonton's now gone up by two in the back half of the second, and this is a nice place to be right now if you're in front. Exactly where they want to be. It's exactly how they would have written it up, but they've been dominating possession, and when you have the puck, the other team doesn't, and they've been rewarded with a couple of goals. Penalty expires, and the PP unit gets set to go to work. And the defenders come up with the puck. Goes 
right to the crease. Oh, what a save in front. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Broussard's looking to win this draw and this man advantage here. San Jose's got a hold of the puck. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. Power play has expired. Takes a shot. Oh, and it stays out. He got a piece of that one. And that's off target as it hits a body. Slides it diagonally to Kaprizov. A centering chance. Intercepted at center by Knox. The Oilers play the puck from the back of the net. Good defensive stop with the poke check. The Sharks move it ahead. Moves it to the middle. Oh, and they can't connect on the pass because it was broken up in front. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. San Jose's got possession here in the offensive zone. Into the corner, he takes the pass. And they'll be forced to regroup after the puck bounces out of the offensive zone. Receives the pass. And a stick in the lane ends the threat. Stopped by the goaltender. Perry's been really sharp tonight, James. And then just have a look at his save percentage. And he's making the stops that he needs to. But man, his team's played well. They've got going north. They've created opportunities. And a reason why they have a healthy lead. There's the buzzer, two periods down, one more to go. They always say three is the magic number, and we've got period number three next. Teams are lined up, and they are ready to get this third period underway. Final frame is underway here. Well, two periods down. Here we go with the third period. Cheryl, your assessment so far. San Jose's performance through two periods of play hasn't been that great, James. They're fortunate to still be in this game. So in the third period, they have to change the mindset. They have to use their instincts, and they have to start attacking. If they're going to shoot the puck from the perimeter, they have to have traffic in front. If they're going to shoot it from the inside, they got to look for rebounds, and they have to have a killer instinct attitude. Hammers it on net. Steps up with the block. Broussard's been brought down, and we're going to get a penalty here. Let's get the official decision. Well, the refs are calling a really tight game, and man, this has been a parade to the penalty box, and the entire bench looks agitated, and as a result, they keep taking more. San Jose's got it in the defensive zone. Great read by Knox. Scooped up along the wall by Broussard. San Jose's penalty killers get a hold of it. The Sharks looking against the half wall. Frank stick handling in his own zone. Takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. Knox has had the magic touch tonight, James. Trying to shake the defender. Shoot. Denies him on the breakaway. Great, Great save, goalie. By Knox. Moves the puck along the half wall. Iggy's almost out of the box. Moves behind the net. Denies him! Perry dialed in and anticipating the play so effectively, making a huge save from a dangerous spot on the ice. Oh, he missed the net. What a chance there. They needed that. Well, that's a glorious opportunity, and you know that he's got one heck of a one-timer. Perfect distribution right in his wheelhouse. He cannot believe he missed. Quick pass to Kaprizov. Takes a shot. Oh, Play set 
set to resume, and you can see they're still frustrated by that non-goal call. The Sharks take possession after that neutral zone face-off. Franks lugging the puck. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. There's an injection of energy with that hit. Broussard's looking pretty banged up out there, James. I'm not sure if he's going to finish this shift. Sends the pass down low. Oh, just a great heads-up play by St. Louis. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. Shoots it. Oh, big time save by Perry. He's got a knack for getting the puck to the net, especially from long range, James. This one's denied, but it's all about the chaos that it creates when it gets net front. San Jose's got possession here in the neutral zone. And this squad has really put the pressure on now. And they'll skate it out of the zone. And that's poked away. Puck scooped up by Knox. Trapper saved, didn't get all of it, but still enough. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. The Oilers will play it from the defensive zone. but they'll have to play on with this face-off. And after the draw at center, they've got a hold of the puck. We got a penalty coming up here. Right up the gut, here they go. Handles the puck. And they score on the delayed penalty. They make it count. Well, they do make it count, James. Now it will negate their power play opportunity, but hey, when you capitalize, you don't get the power play. San Jose's finally shown some pushback in the third, and they've got a goal here. It's amazing, James, how a game can change within the game, and that happened right there on that last sequence. Getting to the middle of the ice, fighting for possession, and that's a sense of urgency late in the third. Oh, smart heads up play to put that one away. Frank's got the puck in his own zone. Slammed into the wall. Broussard's got it along the boards. Rips it! Referee's oh, hand goes up in the air. We got a delayed penalty coming up here. Up by one, and you take a penalty, applying some pressure to the PK unit here as a power play as an opportunity to get the equalizer. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Kaprizov's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. Edmonton's got the puck after winning the defensive zone face-off. And that's offside, stopping the play. Another face-off looming here on this power play. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Trying to dump it out. And they get the puck out. That's exactly what they needed. Yeah, late in the game, you want to find a way to just get the puck out. You want to make sure you protect the middle of the ice. And listen, if your opponent doesn't have the puck in their offensive zone, guess what? You're in a good position. Edmonton's got possession while undermanned. Good clearing attempt to breathe. From off the wall and onto a stick. Beats the puck over. Denies him. He got all of it. Oh, he targeted his opponent and delivers a perfect hip check. Hard hit, frees up the puck. Edmonton's penalty killers come up with a monstrous effort. Well, that's a missed opportunity, James. An opportunity to get the equalizer on the power play. Now down by one at even strength. They're going to have to find a way to muster up some energy. That one was deflating. And he loses control here. Here he is on the redirect. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. Nearing the final minute of regulation. And that's intercepted by Broussard. Takes control of the puck. Frank's got it in the defensive end. Intercepts it at center. Puck grabbed by Kaprizov. Great reach with the poke check. San Jose's got a hold of it along the wall. 
inside the offensive end, takes the feed from along the boards. Under siege and finally grabs that one and covers up for a whistle. Temperatures boiling over late here, Cheryl. Boiling because there's certainly frustration as well. And when you're feeling frustrated, it's easy to just drop the gloves. And here come the Zebras, Cheryl. Yeah, they jump in right when the guys are getting tired. They see their spot, they take it, and the guys are heading to the box now. Five-minute major. They make their way over to the penalty box, still chirping one another. You can see that it was testy out there, but they'll go back to the box and they'll sit for five. Both coaches seem to have settled down their benches, and both teams are lining up here for the faceoff. San Jose's won the draw. And that will close the book on this one here tonight. Well, there'll be smiles all around in one locker room tonight following this EASHL challenge. Anytime it's a challenge, you know there's a lot on the line, in particular the bragging rights, and you can see it in the body language right there. They're pretty content with this victory.
Welcome back, everyone. Well, the gauntlet has been thrown down. The challenge laid. Who's up for it? Time to find out. We are just seconds away now from puck drop. We are underway here and let the game begin. Here's a short pass to Cap. Takes a shot. St. Louis moving the puck through his own zone. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. Taken along the wall by Cap. The Oilers gain possession. Knox has got the puck. That won't go as that goes off the side of the net. Gets control of the puck here in his own end. Now over to JC. Vancouver's got the puck. Here's a shot. Up to the challenge as he gets his pad on it. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. And he coughs it up with the pass. Big time stop. Here we go, look at this. They are really applying the squeeze now in the offensive end. Oh, what a stop on the play. Sends it down to the half wall. Skating with it. Oh, what a save. And they'll end all that pressure as they clear the zone. Puts it towards the net, makes the save. Feed to Cap. On the attack along the boards. Look at this from an awkward spot. Kaprizov's crossed the line and gained the zone. Edmonton's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Here he is, takes the shot. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Still lots of time left here in this frame. Still scoreless in this one. Broussard's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Frank's got the puck now in his own end. The Canucks look to start the transition game. Moves it quickly over to JC. Moves it in front. Picked up in front. Smart heads up play to intercept the pass. Moves it to JC. The Canucks take it along the wall. And now he moves it quickly to Mata. And that was a good heads up read to make that save. Oh, he got the look that he wanted, James. It was right in his wheelhouse. He fired it. The one timer came. And man, did the goaltender make an even better save. Tries to tuck it in. Frank's going to play it against the half wall. And it's a have taken a 1-0 lead here past the midway mark of the opening frame. It hasn't been easy to get here, has it? We no. haven't seen any offense in this game, and they get the first one, and they have to find a way to continue. Where there's one, you got to try and find two, continue to attack. Poked away in the defensive end. The Canucks move the puck in the defensive zone. Edmonton's gained possession along the boards. On the wraparound. Vancouver's regained possession of the puck. Here he is, trying to get loose. Pad save with ease. Harry's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. 1-0 one is where we sit at this point. Cap's got the puck, and they'll go on the attack. Nice defensive robbery on that. Feeds the puck to Cap. A shot and he gets a chunk of that to keep it out and here's the pass to Kaprizov takes it and looks ahead and now it's over to JC right in front of the officials eyes and the hand is in the air Who's the puck? right up the gun into the attacking zone and he sprints to the bench to get the extra attacker out on the ice and he comes up with it 
Through pass ahead. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. And here comes the judgment from the official. Broussard's going to the box for tripping. And their first chance to use the man advantage. Well, a timely power play at this juncture of the game, James, to even it up. This is huge for this power play. Your big stars, they need to shine. Vancouver's got control of it now here in the offensive end. And he's bowled over to the ice and loses the puck. Reaches out and uses the stick. Grabbed along the boards by Mata. Huge steal in his own end. Puck moved back to the neutral zone. Sends one up to Cap. Read that perfectly with the poke check. Into the corner now. Puck picked up by Cap. Directs it on over to JC. Look at the Savardian spinorama. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Caps at the face-off dot, ready to win this draw on the man advantage. We got a whistle offside the call. Kaprizov's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the uh, face-off. This is the last game, bro. Sorry. I fucking... I, uh, had to just up, but... There's the horn. Still 40 more Kaprizov. minutes left in regulation time. Seven we'll get to the second to period ball. right after this. Welcome back, everybody. James Sabalski with you. Period number two. The middle frame ready to go. Vancouver's going to have to work quickly here on this man advantage if they hope to strike. Besides, up and ready to get back on the ice. And a big kill keeps the one goal lead intact. We're back to even strength. Okay, we got a stoppage. Let's get the call. Let's the round. Get the shot from the beast. Well, when you're looking for a goal, being shorthanded is not ideal. You're also killing valuable time where you can be pressing when you're PKing. The Oilers win the draw. Here he is in close. And he gets his glove out to stop the pinball shot. Just moments away from the resumption of this power play. They're ready to drop the puck here for this faceoff. Off the draw, and he ties up his opponent. Tries to feed it over to JC. There's the whistle icing the call. JC is a player who can help get his team back in this game, guys. If he can use his zone ability to generate offense, they can close the gap on the scoreboard. Smart play to take possession, sneaking in off the wing. Here's a shot from a tough position. Made the stop on the play. Retrieves the puck, trying to kickstart this power play. Dishes it to Broussard. From the point, they take control of it. Yeah. Off the tip it in. Well, he has absolutely mastered his craft, hasn't he? I mean, hands away from the body, the hand-eye coordination to redirect that puck into the back of the net. Well, we see him working on this deflection all the time in practice, James, and you know that in a game, that's where he's going to get you on a shot, and he doesn't miss with a perfect redirect. Vancouver's been impressive putting a lot of pucks on net, but they still trail here in the second. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. Moves it around along the half wall. Quick pass to JC. 
and he shuts the door again. And that slides right out to center ice. Gets a hold of the puck here at his own end. Vancouver's looking to break out. Centering feed. Great defensive play to pick off the pass. Great read with the stick. Taken by Cap. The Oilers have it against the wall. Strong defensive effort. Delayed penalty looming. Drives it to the crease. Beat the goaltender, but couldn't beat the post. Whistle blown, stopping the play. Kaprizov's getting two for interference here. He's off to the box. Time for the power play unit to get back to work. No, they haven't scored on the power play yet. 100% is not a number that you see typically. So they got to find a way to just stay confident, trust the process and their skill sets. Down the left wing and into the offensive zone. Grabs control of it at the point. What a steal in his own end. A chance here. Scores a perfect finish from off the rush. The Canucks counter strike here in the second, and Cheryl, they've got some life in them. Yeah, they've created some momentum for themselves, and that's because they've just stuck with the game plan. They've held possession, and they're rewarded for it. Oh, and he takes possession of the puck from off the wing with the centers all locked up there off the draw. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. That's broken up in the neutral zone. Broken up in the neutral zone by Cap. Vancouver is working hard in all areas of the ice. Defense is structure, and it needs to happen in all three zones. When you're talking about stick positioning, they're doing a great job of taking away passes. Slides the puck to Cap. The Oilers take possession here in the open ice. There's the physical side. Vancouver's got it in their own zone. Here they come. And that's picked off in the neutral zone by St. Louis. From the right side, moves it up ahead. And a puck check knocks the puck away. Here's a short pass to Cap. Edmonton's ready to go on the attack. Knox has got it in the offensive zone. Vancouver's got it from behind the net. Quick feed to JC. Centering pass. Great defensive heads up play to pick it off. Scoops up the puck now. Time. JC's crossed the line and is on the attack now. Moves it quickly over to Knox. And he slides it quickly to Kaprizov. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And that's broken up with a stick in front. We've got icing on the play. Face off coming up. The Canucks have had a lot of scoring opportunities, but they continue to trail here in the second. The Oilers win the draw here in their own end. Huge win by the center to give his team an opportunity to get out of the zone after a critical icing. Yeah. Moving into the attacking zone. Puts it on net. Can't get it to go. Gets the puck over to Knox. Vancouver's got possession here in the neutral zone. Moves into the slot. Oh, what a save on the play. Wow. Oh, that's great. Larceny, James. I mean, he just stole one away from his opponent. What a save. When you're the culprit and you're going to the box for the second time in one period, you recognize that you've also compromised your team here. It's a team sport, and man, they're not happy right now. Broussard's won the draw, and they're on the attack. Grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage. Harry's been so impressive, in particular in that last sequence, James, and he's out of gas. It didn't prevent him from making that save, but now he's going to get some much needed. Yeah. And the power play strikes once again. Well, you know that specialty teams are so critical, James, and they have executed with the player advantage all night long. Edmonton's delivered an absolute dagger here late in period number two, doubling up their lead. Well, you can hear and feel the energy just elevate after that goal, James. Everyone kind of standing up. The body language speaks for itself. Now it's about igniting another fire and trying to get another one. Kaprizov's got it along the wing. 
Works it across to Frank. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. The Oilers take possession of the neutral zone. And the middle frame almost done. And a good heads up defensive play in the open ice. And he totally whiffs on that one. Answered the call on that play. Perry's been a consistent presence in the crease, James. I mean, he's made the stops he's needed to, but his team's playing extremely well, and that's why they have a comfortable lead. Well, the PKers are getting a ton of ice time, but guess what? Your offensive players are not, so you can't generate and produce. they got to figure out a way to stay out of the box. Back. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. 40 minutes to play in the books. Both teams will get one last chance to catch their breaths, and then it's on to period number three next. Fans are buzzing, teams are gliding into position here for the start of the third. Edmonton's got possession to start the period as their power play continues. To the front! And now it's grabbed by Kukrizov. Nice play, shorthanded as they get control of the puck. Here's an offensive chance. Vancouver's on the attack. Whiffs on that. Have it now. Directed over to Kaprizov. Here's a backhand. Covers it up. We'll get a stoppage in play. <laughs> I didn't know you were going to get all fancy. <laughs> Caps ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Yeah. Off the draw. They take possession. And the puck clears the zone. The Canucks play it along the boards. No, you're not going to get away with that one right in front of the official. Delayed penalty coming up. It's a tripping, it looks like. Uh, coaches hate stick infractions. They're real frustrating. You're right there. You're in and around the puck. You go fishing, and you wind up in the box. Puck scooped up by Kaprizov. And as he steps back out onto the ice, they'll go to work with the man advantage here. Moves it to J.C. Here's a pass in front, and that doesn't connect. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Slides the puck over. Quick shot. Great defensive effort to step in and block it. Puck moved back to center, forcing them to regroup. Gives them a jolt with that hit. Good stand-up hit on the play. Moves the puck to cap. And called for the offside. We'll get a face-off. Caps ready for the draw as we get set to resume this power play. Frank standing up, ready to go. Vancouver's got That's possession good. of the puck. Time's up on the power play. Both teams back to even strength. Well, being on a power play is a privilege, James. Trust me, I know. I was never on it. When you get out there, you have to have some urgency and find a way to get it to the middle of the ice and okay. get some opportunities on net. There was none of that. Edmonton's won it. Yeah. Frank's taking it from yeah. his own end. Here's a shot. Club save. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. 
still plenty of time left in this frame. Been a pretty good offensive display, at least for one side. 3-1 right. is where we sit. Vancouver's taking possession in their own end. With possession along the wall. Here he is in front. Oh, and he somehow got a little piece of it. And it stays out of the net. Cuts into the paint. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Quick stop by Perry. This is a fantastic save, James. He's all over it. What I mean by that is he knows exactly where it is and where it's moving. A reason why he can get square to it and make the save. Vancouver's had countless shots throughout the night, but they still find themselves behind the eight ball here in period number three. Yeah. And off the draw, they take the puck. Broken up at center by Mata. Vancouver's been disrupting play all night long, and this is because of their stick position. You have to find ways to be aware and anticipate where that puck is going to be going. Doing a great job. Wait a second, James. I believe there's going to be a call right there. An infraction happens. Kaprizov's going off for interference. I love the 1-3-1 one, one set on the power play unit they used earlier. Listen, they had success, they scored, but there's so many variations off of it. I love the bumper position that can act as a decoy, allow the puck to get through to create those seams and open up those shot attack lanes. Denies him on the one-timer! Puck is frozen and we get a stoppage in play. Broussard's side still short-handed here as they slide in for the face-off. And they take possession off the draw here at their own end. The Canucks gain possession. Mata's got it in the corner. Oh, what a save on the slapper! JC's exploring options with the puck. And he was ready for that save. Now a quick pass to Mata. Perry's been incredible tonight and seems to get better with every save that he makes. His confidence is gaining, and man, he has been electric between the pipes. Broussard's ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. Stay back. Vancouver's won the draw, and they take possession here in the open yeah. ice. Okay. Right up the gut into the offensive end. Centering feed, and that's intercepted. And they get the puck out. He grabs the puck here at the point. The Oilers' PK unit delivers in a big way. Well, with so many power plays, it continually gives energy, but at what point does it take it away, James? You have to find a way to convert on one of these, or you never know, the other team's going to take advantage when they get one. Shot! And he comes up with it. Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. Vancouver's got the puck in the defensive end. Quick pass to JC. Takes the puck at the point. And he takes the feed. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Getting a little physical out there, but still holds on to the puck. Edmonton's got the puck. Excellent stick work on the play. The Canucks look to start the transition game. Breakaway! Oh, and I think he got confused what he was going to do there. Great job, goalie. And while he's thinking, he's running out of real estate. Pass to Cap. Vancouver's got it along the wall. Sends a pass in front. Oh, and he comes up with a stop. Harry's got it, and he's going to hang on as we get a whistle. Well, he's been dialed in right from puck drop, and he has been under seas, James. Nice job to hold on to that puck. Now they can hit the reset button. Here in the late goings of the period, it's a two-goal lead we're looking at with the score 3-1. That's a good heads-up play at center. Fuck my bad. 
We both hurt. And there's another penalty call against the home team. These fans are frustrated. Cheryl, I think these calls are legit. Oh, I thought it was me. What about the other side here? Well, yeah, and they got to be expecting to get one soon here as it is one-sided. And it's so hard for a team to get into the game when there's no flow because you keep parading yourself to the box. There's a pass in front. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. They'll get set to drop the puck oh. as this power play continues. Yeah. What do you want to do about that? I got it here. Gets a hold of the puck. Ready for the, or, or by, Great ready reach for. with the poke check. <laughs> Trying to get the puck out of the zone. Yeah. Oh, and it's blocked yeah. and kept in. Oh, this is a huge miscue, and you know the coach isn't going to like this. Yeah. Instead of being on the offense and on the attack, you wind up back on your heels. Uh, Poked away it. by St. Louis. Here's a short pass to Cap. Harry's gonna wait for the whistle, and I don't mind this strategy here, Cheryl. Me neither. I mean, he's having himself a game, isn't he, James? He has been dominant between the pipes, and he knows he needs to pounce on this puck. He looks up at the game clock. They're winning. Not much time left in the third. They gotta figure out a way to play it safe. And they take possession. Nice job tangling him up on the draw. And he can't hang on after that hit. Nearing the final minute of the third. Penalty expires. You really have to admire the effort of the penalty killing unit on that one as both teams are back to even strength. Power plays dictate games, and this one did not. And the coach will not be happy with the setup or the opportunity that this unit gave them. Vancouver's offensive struggles have been the story tonight. Lots of chances, just not a lot of results. JC is going to play into the corner. Fucking beep stand on his head. Still your place. Fuck it now. Set as they're ready to drop the puck again. Head up here, this. Good. And gets a little boost to come up with the puck from off the wing with both centers tied up. Grabs the puck. The Oilers have it from their own end. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Still keeps a hold of it. The Oilers have it against the wall. He's got a step. Well, he fought for position to find this puck on his backhand, James. He's running out of real estate, but he was able to put it through and find the netting. Okay. And they win that neutral zone draw. That's all she wrote from GG's. Well, a fun seesaw fair here in this EASA challenge. But what a little smiles on the bench tonight, Cheryl. Yeah, a lot of fun out there. And there's more pressure in these. Yeah, Twitch, uh, that's it for me. I'm gonna get something to fucking eat. And uh, yeah, hopefully, you guys have a good night. Two and one on the night, not too bad. Uh, one more day games tomorrow, but uh, I don't think I can play. But, uh.